Hi guys, it's Megan Maria and today a short tutorial uh, on how you can create a storybook inside of Canva. Right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to make my own storybook. So without any further ado, let's do this. Alright, so now we are here in Canva and we're going to create a storybook. Okay, to do that, let's go here on uh, more and type here a story. Okay, just scroll down and find a uh, storyboard. So here you go, click the storyboard. So that's the size of the story that we're going to create. And you will see here there are a lot of templates here that you can use. Uh, it depends on your story. And then you can choose with these guys and play around with it. Okay, so I'm going to create a storyboard for my next video that I'm going to upload on YouTube. And get this one. There you go. So you can uh, change the title and then you can change the uh, the font for these guys then by just clicking over here. Okay, you can play around with like, these guys about the size and the uh, font of yours of your video. So I'm going to make this white so that you can see. So here is the title of my uh, storybook, Common Mistakes to Avoid When Crafting a Compelling Video Story. So here is the videos that I'm going to uh, upload onto my channel. And then here you see this scene one is I'm going to change this one. Okay, for, for this seed one is I'm going to change this one to lack of clear purpose. And then you can just uh, change this one too. Okay, and then just uh, paste it here. What is your story all about? And then uh, you can uh, find the elements here. Uh, on the left side about the lack of clear purpose so you can just type this one and say lack of clear purpose okay go find the, the photos and then you can choose any of these uh, elements here to put in here so scroll down guys okay so let's say this one okay you can uh, choose this one for the scene one all right so the next is the scene number two i'm going to delete this one and then i'm going to delete, just delete the image and then i'm going to elements again and type here uh ignoring the audience okay go to photos image then choose the image that you want okay let's say i'm gonna get this one here you know and then over here on the scene tree I'm just gonna change the, the scene and then the description here as what I did in scene one and scene two, okay? All right, so now I'm done with scene one, scene two, scene three, and scene four. So this is all about the, the common mistakes to avoid uh, if we are creating a video. So I'll make a storyboard and then uh, they can just uh, watch this video, scene, scene one and scene two, scene three, and scene four into my video I'm going to upload on YouTube. So now you can also customize the background. Uh, you can change the background color like just like that guys. So it's all up to you guys. Just uh, play with this. Alright, there you go. So you can also use this if you want to create a, uh, a flyers or a brochure, you know, uh, or whatever you want for your story. If you want to embed or link any videos of this into your uh, social media so like for example if you're going to post this into social media like other platform like instagram facebook tiktok things like that it, just to show you guys for example you want to link any video that you have on your channel so first go to your channel so let's say uh this one okay so i'm gonna click this one and i'm just gonna get the link okay just copy the link and then you go back to canva and then over here okay you're gonna click the link okay click the link and then here you paste the link that you got on your channel and then done so now you will see here in this scene there is a link connected into this so when they click this one it will goes into the video 
which is that video you are created on that scene all right so that's how you can also create a link for each a scene of your video inside of your storybook you can you can link your link or you just leave it like that you just post it like a, a poster or things like that or just like a and ads for your products or things like that. But if you want your viewers to go more in depth of your products or whatever you are, you know, creating on your inside of your storybook, then you can go ahead, click the link so that they can see the videos and whatever you, you want uh, your viewers to learn more in your story inside of your storybook okay so yeah that's a short tutorial for today's guys that's how you can create your own storybook inside of canva all right so if you have any questions just let me know down in the comments and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe before you leave and for all my subscribers thank you so much for um, supporting me all the time and i'll see you on my next video bye for now